Hello everyone, welcome back to Healthcare India. Today we bring you yet another interesting conversation with one of our extremely special guests, Mr. Pramod Kumar Rajput, who has the rich experience of over 39 years in pharmaceuticals and healthcare. He is currently working as the senior vice president and uh, vertical head in Cadillac Pharmaceuticals Limited, which is India's leading multinational pharma company. In this conversation, we'll deep dive into what lies ahead for pharma industry and how these pharmaceutical companies are looking forward to AI power tools. So, without any further delay, let's get into it. Artificial intelligence has uh, shifted from science fiction to science facts. And uh, when we talk about pharmaceutical industry, it is uh, one of the most important industry, not just for economy, but for people as well as it is where the drug comes from. So uh, my first question to you is how artificial intelligence is uh, transforming the pharma industry? Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, Deepika, uh, thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity on talking on one of the very important and very relevant subject because AI is going to be a buzzword not only in pharmaceutical industry but in many places. Since we are talking about the pharmaceutical industry, I will also cover completely about it. But as per the research and the scientists, what their people are telling that this AI by 2025, it is going to be a 90 billion dollar industry is going to happen put together all. Now, coming to the many pharma companies which are there, they have already started here leveraging AI in their businesses. But before to it, uh, AI is a one important thing because many people who are listening this part, they are aware, they must be aware about it. But at the same time, only for the sake of repetition, I just want to say that AI is a field of the computer science, which many people, they know about it. And it's fully automated with building the machines, capability of the managing tasks, that otherwise require the human operators and intelligence. So it also includes the deep learning, non-linear grid system, chatbots, machine learning, and so on. So I, apart from this, the self-driving car, AI-based Google searches, facial recognition, virtual assistant, they all are the part of the AI industry, which I'm sure everybody is aware about it. So now you have this question which is coming to it that how can AI uh, industry impact the pharma industry, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so the current scenario in pharmaceutical industry is that AI is amazingly useful in managing data and presenting the results that promote the better decisions making and help saving human effort. And it is also without AI, I will say without AI in what the AI is going to help. Medical information collection and processing can be slowed down without AI because it's a lot of the human work is required. Unavailability of so much plethora of the data and medical records because when you go to the hospital, when you go to the places, you find there is storage is there lying there and a lot of old files are lying there. So and many times the files are not available. I'm talking about the doctor per se. Then coming to the pharma industry, same thing is suppose 10 years before somebody has prepared a brand plan and the person has submitted the brand plan and the people are working. Probably the person is there. If he is not there, then people start searching where the brand plan has gone, where it has gone, what are the things are there. So they are not able to resonate. And at the same time, costly and time consuming drug delivery and R&D process without AI industry is going to be very slowed down. So I personally feel there are the seven different systems are there which can be taken care as per your question number one, uh, handling the massive data with the AI because managing patient data while using the AI has made it very simple for pharmaceutical companies to generate and track relevant data. And the future of AI for pharma industries is very, very bright because it can help the pharma industry reducing the tedious task and focus on important discoveries and challenges in terms of the research and improvement in the drug development as it saved the time of many of the people and taken by the active uh, human or the team which are working for that. This is the second point. Third point is executing of the AI to find better cure because uh, when I uh, when I was uh, working on your this uh, in, entire uh, this AI part, so I was seeing that which are the pharma companies in the international they are working on AIs. So it has uh, it has come to my notice that no what there are many but no what is 
are yeah. using AI based technology to develop the better drug improvement and find faster ways to treat the diseases. Then the high accuracy in epidemic predictions is again very, very important because with this, you know that the latest information ranging from the satellite pictures to the social information, whether it is a malaria earlier, Ebola earlier and now the COVID-19. So this may all help pharma companies to develop possible solutions prior to the epidemic or pandemic. As you know that now Pfizer has already developed the vaccine and has started moving. So 2021 is going to be a part of the vaccine part. So again, it is of the AI part which the people have able to take the help. The next point is that AI is going to help affordable drugs because it should be a cloud-based technology, carefully screened, small molecules, again, the responsive responsibilities, and however it interacts for a deeper and a better understanding of biological process and their outcomes. The sixth point which has come in my mind is to treat the rare diseases. This is very, very important because AI-powered platform helps scientists to enhance production in rare disease discovery and focus on analyzing the drugs and repurposing them to the cure rare diseases. And the last point, which is which is which we all know that when we go for MRI, when we go for CT scan and all, so using image recognition for the drug adherence. So AI can build amazing facial recognition software that helps track the effects of various medication when it's been used by the patient. So these are the different things are there which can be taken care by the AI part. So if I I I want to put it in a complete figure that AI can take care for a laboratory part because the data is there. SOP validation can happen, drug maker can use it in the patient satisfaction part. Then at the same time, I can also say AI can also help on the researchers to have the predictive analysis. AI can also help for the doctors for the clinical decision support. AI can also help to the patient to get the lifestyle advice, what are the things are there. And AI is also going to help for the radiology segment where they go for MRI, CT scan and all so many things are there. That is the thing. So this is my answer, what I have learned, what I have gathered for your question number one. That's true. That's very correct. And uh, hearing all the efficiencies associated with AI in pharma industry and overall the healthcare system are definitely incredible. So uh, do you think it's the right time now we can say that AI is the new prescription that this industry needs? I think you have stolen the word from my mouth. I was supposed to say, and then you have put the thing. It is 100% a new prescription, 100%. Because uh, again, uh, earlier I told you about the seven points. Again, I'm going to tell you about the same seven points, which is different. It conducting the repetitive task because with AI, doctors and additional healthcare providers can have more time to focus on the urgent and complex job, which is required and to help and to interact with the patient in a much better way. This is point number one. So prescription number one. Prescription number two is <clears throat> that AI is able to help them for managing data because the data management in the healthcare sector has become a hassle-free process. All the data can be collected, stored, reformatted and traced in assistance with digital automation in a fast and a consistent way in this COVID era because 2021 and onwards it is going to rule and it is going to be required by the pharma sector or the healthcare se sector. Third point which I say that analyzing the healthcare system because it is not gone are the days of the old healthcare system. The AI is also going to help for the invoice generation process can be digital which is very important. Organizations shift through the medical records to highlight the errors in treatments, inefficiency of the workflow, and the entire healthcare system can avoid patient hospitalization that are simply not needed because there's no need because you know now there's a complete change there's the virtual clinics are happening. So people, patients are not going to the doctors. It is again a part of the AI. Fourth point which has come to my mind, uh, leveraging the advantages of the natural language processing because AI natural language processing is the capability of a computer program which is going to compress the human speech and in what language which way you require everything can be taken care and a person sitting from india he can talk to a chinese doctor a person sitting from this place he can talk to a japanese doctor and in this way ai is going to help build and to have the resonation together and also robotic surgery because robotic surgery is going to come after 10 years it is going to be a buzzword already started 
so you have to give the command and the robots is going to do, this, do the surgery and the world it is already starting happening very well the fifth point which is coming in my mind which i have read making the medical consultation process digital which i already told you on my 10 uh, point number 3 that the app can suggest recommend action after going to the user medical history because now the apps are available even in india it was there from last 10 years telemedicine which was supposed to be called as a telemedicine now now it has been shifted to the apps based, uh, based medicine sixth point is then maximizing the benefits of the digital nurses this is very important point it's not here in india but when i was going through the things i found it that yes the digital nurses are going to it is going to be a replacement for digital of the nurses because the virtual nurses between the patient and the doctor appointments so the person is going to tell yes your appointment is on 24th so please come on 24th at 9 am or 9 uh, 8:30 pm so it is going to reduce the load on the healthcare professionals and saves the industry quite a lot of the money either from the healthcare segment or other from the medical segment last but not the least let me have a glass of water yes sure last but not the least when everything is there then a patient has to have the medicine so the managing the medication is again very important because ai based apps monitor the uses of the drugs with the patient in real time so these apps as use as a completely automatically system which makes sure whether the patient are taking the right medicine according to their prescription or not so it is a clear cut like suppose now we have the apple watch we have bokeh watch i am also wearing the same watch it keeps on telling what is my temperature is going on if suppose somewhere my temperature is more than 98.6 or 99 start buzzing a part or so i am very very clear this is all the part of the ai which is giving me a signal that yes what the things are happening what not happening so ai is going to be a real prescription in the coming time that's true that's very correct even uh, when you were talking about uh, telemedicine part or app based uh, medicines part uh, i have read somewhere that uh, uh abhi what is happening we are getting netflix ke subscriptions but in future what we'll be getting healthcare subscriptions yes in which yes in which everything will be included starting from your uh, yoga starting from what you should take in breakfast starting from and moving on uh, what uh, uh, what are the things that is occurring on your body in your body and uh, uh, what are the steps you should take so everything will be uh, there in the health subscriptions plans so yeah definitely ai will definitely transform the full in the healthcare industry that's true that's and vipika it will be also ai is going to give you the customized plan so because yes. as the we say that every shirt doesn't fit to everybody same thing ai yes. will ensure that every person should be taken care in that the complete hmm. personalized way so that it should yeah. be a zero defect gap no defect should be a 100% it is going to resonate with the requirement true 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 it will completely move on to patient centric services 100% patient doctor and medicine because this is a three gamut and of course healthcare systems are there pharma companies are there so all these things are there so all the four quadrants will be taken care completely fully totally yes 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 so moving on to our uh, next part that is uh, pharma marketing so uh, pharma companies rely on the marketing models to grow and uh, with the increased competition and the various modes of pro promotions it gets hard to attribute market results market efforts into sales so how we can use ai in leveraging stronger marketing results fantastic excellent question because we as a marketer we always see that uh, this paradigm shift due to the covid has given lot of positive things to us so that it is going to have a clear cut marketing at the same time economical marketing and making the presence of our brand in the doctor's mind but before to it i will say some of the thing the leveraging part we all know that arogya setu correct ha huh. so rg city is one of the thing which we are aware about it that where to go where not to go because it has to be loaded and we understand so this is a part of the ai which is there and the automation part is going to make a difference second thing which i like to say precising the targeting in the segmentation so now what your question is i want to resonate with that it can be done with the both patient identification in the rare disease and physician targeting identification 
in the same way so we are aware about it that the segmentation of the disease segmentation of the doctor segmentation of the drug so all the three things should be there so when we are talking to a doctor when we are insisting about the things to make the things happen then we know that which segment we have to concentrate which segment we have to make the product available which segment we have to promote the product so it is going to give me a clear cut direction the graph itself is going to give me the complete direction that yes it has been done and has been taken care very well that's true then yes. the third is the faster reimbursement also because people they want a reimbursement so we are aware about it the natural yeah. uh, language processing machine learning mm -hmm. and all these things are there which is going to help then stronger customer engagement and personalized multi channel marketing so with that we are aware that which type of what is the age of the our patient is there what disease they are suffering where to put the thing suppose the doctor has to the patient has to go to a general practitioner he has to go to a physician or he has to go to a super specialist so in that way the segmentation is very clear and the drug can be marketed accordingly then it is also going to help about the value pricing that which segment of the customer customer when i say doctor when i say nursing home when i say hospital when i say the complete group of the hospital what pricing they require so with that we are aware about it that how to keep our price versus the competitor price versus the requirement so everything can be seen sitting there at one place and with working on your machine then you can make the things happen then hmm. the doctor can also we get lot of help of the patient adherence because adherence to the medication is critical care for the critical for the patient health and ai is going to identify which patient sees adherence and how it can be addressed hmm. then coming to the sales force messaging we have we have done lot many seminars lot many ways promoted we have what some messages we have virtual uh, seminars virtual email so many things we have done it so the big data or through the ai custom messaging can be created for sales rep which we have done it and we got a very good beautiful response with that and which is also related to the betterment in the patient care part so i think i have answered you because we feel that healthcare providers healthcare system prescription generation ai is again a boom yes yes and that's true that's completely true correct and uh, ai is almost ai is just uh, gathering the information gathering the data converting that data into information and uh, then making insights that data but uh, yeah But there are some, uh, you know, privacy concerns are cropping up as uh, companies are feeding uh, more and more data into uh, advanced AI algorithm. So, uh, what do you think? How AI can harness machine learning, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to analyze the vast customer data while still adhering to the privacy laws? so uh, i will start from the starting of it from the point a that ai always helps to get the latest product information to the physician correct yeah. and they, they engage with the patient to ensure improving the compliance with the treatment regimes and outcomes to ensure improving the healthcare efficiency that is the basic thing is there so when you are talking about the data data privacy regulation it comes to our mind that in this situations the companies could work with the third party to develop and train the ai and ml hmm. algorithms to analyze yeah. the data while ensuring the group size compliance with domestic privacy regulation so it is a coordination with the third party domestic privacy regulations to ensure that ai and machine learning algorithms are there to helpful to analyze the entire thing so it's a combination of all then the identification of the data is again important because it's the process of making the personal health information non personal i repeat personal health information non personal because the act of de identification itself is always considered to be a legitimate use of the information and therefore does not require the consent so in this case de identification of the data will not be having a question mark in the privacy of the data you got my point okay 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 yes sir i got yes. your point yeah yeah so uh, what are the uh, many of the companies are uh, saying that they want to adapt ai 
but a uh, uh, few of them are only investing in it so what do you think what are the main still unsolved challenges of ai applications that are in their uh, drug development or uh, uh, drug discovery phase so uh, again suppose you take 100 as a pie 78% of the companies they are they want to adopt it they want to adopt it but uh-huh. they are still in the dole drum that whether i should adopt uh-huh. or not 11% as per the data 11% of the companies they have adopted it totally fully and that is the reason i have given you the example of novartis i also want to add the example of biotechnology because wherever the biosimilars are there biotechnologies are there it comes in that 11% there is still the chunk of remaining part is there which they are not clear that how ai is going to help them because whatever said and done technology is going to lead in the coming this uh, coming decade technology is going to lead and ai is going to be a buzzword ai is going to be a boon what is spoke to me that it is a boon or it is a bean so it is going to be a bean uh, sorry a boon not a bean right and because people have to learn through the things find it out and see the goodness of it they should not be going with the same old dragging part and it also always happens it's a, due to the lack of the relevant expertise and understanding some of the challenges which always need to be addressed which is including data governance challenges streamlining electronic records which they don't have that is the reason they are scared about it breaking down the data silos which they are making it differently they don't want to put it in share the things recruiting the data science professional they are not keeping their it industry is not very strong the it people are not very strong to ensure and the need for the transparent algorithm to meet drug development regulations so if they take take care for these five particular nuggets which is the golden nuggets i think they will not have this problem of not using the ai in their particular system because ultimately when they start using it they are going to get the benefit which is economical and 100% correct that's true yes so uh, uh, it was just my personal question it is my personal question that uh, what advice would you give to the medical students uh, what skills that what skills they should adopt uh for the upcoming industry if someone wants to enter into the pharma industry so what skills they should have okay so i want to say first of all that ai is is a revolution in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industry with a promising yeah. future this is a not a golden line it is a truth and ai is here to rule believe you me covid 19 has given it's a boon to all of us that we start working on technology which was there but we have we are not working on the technology so explore mm. the new opportunities to discover the drugs make the treatment mm. procedures more effective keep mm. the r&d process organized while reducing okay. the risk and the saving cost must embrace the ai which is again very important start reading what new development is happening happening take the brilliant and efficient decisions for the patient care through the patient point of view and while making the pharma industry totally grow with the help of the ai so that is a five six point which i feel that it is there for the student and i would request all the young budding students that they should because everybody is on the smartphone correct hmm. correct so yes. it is a part of the ai some other things are there 100% ai like suppose yeah. ola is there the other things are there our paytm is there. everything is a part of the ai and all so when you know that you are using that then as a professional or as a young budding professional transform mm-hmm. yourself and start learning the thing what is required for the future because okay. if you will not be there in the ai we will be obsolete and today the requirement with the ai is survival of the fittest so it is always huh. good always good to be always on the toes to know and to understand the learning see the it, the computer science was there earlier also but people were not happening that know what computer science is going to make but computer science is the base of the ai today 
computer science is giving me so many things that can be taken care by the pharmaceutical people who are learning who are understanding and they can make a heaven of a difference i'm telling you and the people who are b pharma m pharma i must say because yeah. there are lot of scope biosimilars are coming biotechnology see i remember in the year 2000 biotechnology was a boom people were used to do the biotechnology then 10 years it has gone down but while the biosimilars started coming up 2010 and onwards again biotechnology has come up and the covid has completely changed before to it ebola was there completely changed so people they started working on biotechnology no there is a requirement is there we should not be putting on the back seat so this is a clear cut to the people they can join r and d they can be a uh, they can be in the pharma industry in terms of in the marketing they can also have to the patient health care they can be a part of the hospital administration so so many things are there i tell you plethora of opportunities are there for the b pharma and m pharma student but they have to have the ai part always because everybody wants to save money and everybody wants to get the correctness of the things so it is a resonation of both the things together saving money with the smart working and giving the right things to the right requirement that's true also uh, the people are uh, afraid that ai will take their jobs but uh, we think that's not true uh, what the truth is who don't know the ai that will those people will get replaced from the industry you said it yeah. because when i keep on giving a talk with the many people and all this they, they yeah. are afraid about it see now early what had happened when this computerization has come right in the government sector people were scared my god jobs has gone but that computerization has increased the job requirement so where people they used to have the queue at the post office or in the bank today your bank is there at your place it is there in your home today the uh, walmart or some this market is shopping market is there at your home only people were scared about it now this is covid has come so people are able to realize the importance of this yes so the technology has made the complete change see earlier have you ever thought that a small uh, chai wala will take the money uh, through paytm never ever never yeah. ever but today small chai wala rickshaw wala everybody is ready with the paytm no need to carry the money earlier we used to go to the atm always to have the money in the purse but our now the money is only in the mobile nothing okay. you can go anywhere any places any part of the world only your mobile applications are ready you pay the things there's no need to have the money so this mm-hmm. is a complete change so it is so, always a boon technology is always a boon we consider many people consider and people have to adopt this thing so that they can run as per the technology run as per the time otherwise time will run and they will be left behind ha huh. amazon has already entered into pharmacy field <laughs> So, Amazon has come, yeah, yeah. Amazon yeah. has come. So many new yeah. things, uh, new comers are coming. So it is, yeah. and these are what see. The cake is getting bigger. It is not that that they are taking the percentage from the same cake. No, the yeah. cake is expanding, and so what you are taking the percentage. So earlier the cake yeah. was one kg, one pound. Now that today the cake has become two and half pound. Next year it will become three and half pound. So start taking the share, and any person who is wise enough, active enough. he or she will be able to or that organization will be able to take the share from that that's true yes completely true